And it is the left hander Martin Perez going tonight to see the four and two record two point one ERA just two home runs allowed for Martin so far this season he's done a great job keeping the baseball on the ground fifty three percent is the ground ball rate nine ground ball double plays so far this year long set in the O2 and that looked good strike three called and Veerling the first strikeout victim of the night and Veerling just looking in this at bat back to back front door two seam fastballs remember the previous one elevated this one down the first pitch was ninety three on the corner and then a couple of ninety fours and well, Veerling can say at least he got a good look at the Martin Perez two seam fastball now a full count pitch and a swing and a miss got him on the changeup two straight cuts right there and back to back strikeouts from our team. Schwarber's been red hot and he takes strike three called and he knew it. He begins his walk back to the dugout another strikeout for Martin An efficiency from Martin Perez. How about this one starts off the plate catches the corner and Kyle Schwarber doesn't even argue. And he's ready again and the 2 2 pitch and this one is strike three called and he gets Veerling looking for a second time tonight Four strikeouts for Perez a beautiful cutter here from Martin Perez and he now shares the league lead with Garrett Cole for the most strikeouts looking this season Martin Perez has been excellent in that regard this year there he gets his first strikeout swinging tonight as Camargo goes down to start the fifth. Check that second strikeout swing. And it's Johan Camargo once again. He struck out swinging in his first at bat. And you can see him looking almost confused after he came up empty. Oh, probably third. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But you know how the, you got the arch there in the base as Didi Gregorius goes out down on strikes. The pitch. And this one lined out to left field. That one is caught out there. Calhoun with a diving grab. It back in, and he steals one from Veerling and saves at least one run. What a play! Cole Calhoun is now a left fielder here with the Rangers. He's been a right fielder his entire career. We talked to Woody about it last week. He said, You never know it. He looks so comfortable out there, despite the fact that this is a completely different position. He gets low, completely lays out, tries to get the double play. Not enough time, but that is full extension and tremendous play by Cole Calhoun. Runners with their leads in the one two pitch and this one is high in the air center field should be playable for Tavares it is and it's six shutout tonight for Martin Perez on the on base because he said it feels like it takes him out of his you know natural kind of aggressiveness this ball hit well deep to left it is gone a home run and there's some slug for Nathaniel Lowe. That solo homer has the Rangers in front one on them nothing. Well, right on time for Nathaniel Lowe. Why not talk to Emily about the slug and then show off with a little bit of that slugging to the opposite field with some pop here for Nathaniel Lowe. Let's take a peek at what looked like two seam fastball sat middle. He wanted it on the corner. Not a lot of run on that pitch either. At 92 miles an hour, but he smoked it. 108 off the bat for Nathaniel Love. A much different offensive player. Oh, this ball hit pretty well. Deep out to right field. Castellanos near the wall. It is gone. Just got out. Jonah Heim goes back to back with low. And the Rangers lead 2 0. Wow. A facing your old catchers, never a treat. You mentioned it. All the pitches that Jonah Heim has seen here tonight, and he is ready to go big here. Fastball looked like down and away, and Nick Castellanos gave it a run. He got up. He got that little cut out there. I don't think it mattered, even if he was all the way up against the wall. He wasn't going to get high enough to get that. He just barely snuck in there. Now, for the first time tonight, the Rangers bat with a runner in scoring position. Seeger. Steps in 0 for 2. And he hits this one on the ground slowly through the left side into center field. That's a base hit. Simeon scores without a throw. Just a bleeder of a single for Seeger. Picks up his 32nd RBI of the year. And the Rangers lead 3-0. Well, you know he's not going to wait at all. He just doesn't. And for Corey Seeger, if it's anywhere near the zone, 
He's going to go after it. This is 88 miles an hour. Looks like it might have been a cutter from Kyle Gibson. And he pounds this ball deep out to left field. Schwarber racing back. It is gone. A three hit night for Simeon, including this two run homer. And it's 5 nothing Rangers. I mentioned this earlier with Marcus Simeon and getting to the fastball and how important that is for him. He did it against Kyle Gibson. He had that double back in the sixth inning and now here's a 94 mile an hour fastball that he turns around from Familia and that is a great sign for Marcus Simeon. You mentioned it. You've seen him get pretty warm but perhaps, perhaps a really hot streak coming his way. So a two out Calhoun with another shot tonight and he hits this ball deep out to center field. Veerling to the wall. Gone! A two run shot by Calhoun. And the Rangers pouring it on late. It's seven nothing. That was a bomb. And Cole Calhoun knew it as soon as he hit it. And another Ranger pounding a pitch here from Familia. Trying to go away. It's 95 right down the middle. Check out that bat flip from Calhoun. That's fun to watch. After a five game losing skid took them into the month of June. 2 0 pitch. This one popped up. In a short left field. Long run for Calhoun, but he gets there. And the inning is over. Phillies go quietly in the ninth. And the Rangers complete the seven nothing shutout and they take the opener from Philadelphia tonight with a chance to sweep the series in but a matter of hours. Really good game against a good team as you mentioned Dave the Phillies come in playing some pretty good baseball didn't matter to Martin Perez six shutout innings for him the bullpen was great behind him and then we saw the offense we saw the power that we have seen from this team it was low and high going back to back in the fifth and then a couple of two run home runs in the eighth inning it was Marcus Simeon Cole Calhoun it all came together a very clean and efficient game for the Rangers tonight against those Phillies.